There are a lot of supplies to keep track of when it comes to type 1 diabetes. Eventually, children with type 1 will need to leave home to go to school or spend time with family and friends. Anytime a child with T1D leaves home, they will need to bring a diabetes kit with them. A diabetes kit should have all the supplies needed to take care of diabetes whenever a person with T1D leaves home. We recommend having a smaller kit that can be carried every day and a larger kit for overnight or longer stays. An everyday diabetes kit should include bolus insulin, syringes or pen needles, lancet device and lancets, a glucose meter, even if you use a CGM, glucose test strips, ketone test strips, glucagon kit, alcohol wipes, fast-acting glucose sources, mobile sharps container like plastic bottle, pencil case, or plastic candy container, diabetes devices like insulin pumps or CGMs, a replacement site in case the insulin pump site needs to be changed. T1D tip. It can be handy to keep a to-go bag of diabetes supplies packed and ready to take with you when you leave the house. This is one way to make sure diabetes doesn't interrupt spontaneous outings or activities. Children cope with life with diabetes best when it doesn't get in the way of fun activities. Many families find it convenient to have a designated diabetes bag that they can work into their daily routine. We recommend using a bag that can include a cooler or ice pack to keep insulin at the correct temperature. Right, Rosalie. We'll talk more about how to properly store insulin in sharps like needles and lancets at home and on the go in the next video. In addition to the items from the everyday to-go bag, an overnight kit should include everything a person with T1D would typically need at home. Extra items in the overnight bag include basal insulin, a large sharps container from multiple days use, extra batteries or chargers for diabetes devices, there are certain situations or activities in everyday life that might require someone with T1D to prepare differently than normal. For example, for an overnight trip or vacation, it is very important to keep any unopened insulin in a cooler or temperature-controlled container. There are several options that can be used to keep insulin at refrigerator temperature on a long car ride or a plane, like a plug-in cooler or Frio pouch. If you plan to travel by air, it is best to check with the diabetes team to ensure all preparations, like obtaining a travel letter for airport security, are done. Whenever possible, transfer the insulin to a refrigerator to keep it at a stable, usable temperature. Depending on the length of the trip, it is recommended to bring extra insulin that may not be used. Keeping the extra insulin at refrigerator temperature means it will be able to be used later at home. In the next video, we'll talk about safely storing insulin in sharps like insulin needles and lancets.